Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're doing some X's here. We're Xing. We're thinking, wow. Wow. We idle this economy here just to X and be like, what a garbaggio woodline. All right, guys. That's a really unfortunate because T90 has this woodline and the next one is in... Oh, my God. He's going for a tower. I feel like he needs to go for a tower or something. This man needs to go so forward. Making a rax. All righty. T90 saying no to the walls. He's saying, you know what? We got to play open. I don't think he's going to produce any man at arms or militia. It's a little late in the game for that. I think we're going to go for the perhaps the stable. Can I interest T90 in a stable? Can I interest him? Are we going to a forward stable? Or are we going to a forward... Uh... Oh, towers! T90 saying, Towers! Hello, Hien. Hello, Hien. This is a bold tower. Is it beautiful? We'll give lots of opportunity here for Mr. Shadies to wall behind. Um, Shadies is not in feudal age just yet. So uh, he can't make a counter tower of his own. T90 using that towards his advantage. And we're doing it, folks. We are doing it. I feel like they could even, yeah, chop this Straglerino here. Might see that be the play here. In any case, tower does go down, which is certainly something. Mr. Shady's now in the new age, can make a counter tower of his own. We've got a pike, and by pike, I mean spear. And we got these villagers loop de doop around town. Where will they go? Nobody knows. But Mr. T90 boldly going underneath the town center. Now I'm looking at this map still. It still looks very disgusting. Very gross. All the wood lines here concentrating on this map. But Miss on this side of the map and T90 going to be maybe towering the berries. Do it, T. Do it. Counter tower already in place for Mr. Shady's. Probably smelling a little bit of action there that Mr. T90 is a foot. And we're going to go for a tower right here. Yeah, we obviously see that if we're Shady's. Harold here, aka T90, four military on the field. He's got three spears. Mr. Shady's has got one spear. Spear versus spear action. Wow, I like how we're walling this off here. I uh, should be the relatively walled off before this tower is built. And the towers are going to be a little annoying, but uh, not the worst case scenario. Mr. T90 still on this one wood line. Nine villagers on one wood line. Oh my goodness. If this guy beats blue here, you really congratulate this guy. Well, blue T90, no chill. He means business. He wants to just try to break into this popsicle stand. He's just applying lots of pressure. The tower is going to be, you know, pressuring the berries here, being a little bit annoying. There's been no deaths in the eco department. Gold is still fine and dandy for Shadies if he wants to get on his gold. And the wood here is also fine. Stone here is fine. So this isn't really denying too, too much. This, though, being a little annoying for the berries. Just a little bit. We're also idling three villagers worth. So for Mr. T90, not ideal. But he just wants no one coming forward here. You know, T90 does not want anyone harassing him. Because look at this. Look at this disgusting, vomitrocious atrocity. We've got three on berries. We've got one on a farm. And we've got two gathering here from a goat. Is this the best balanced food economy? No, but it's something. Okay, Shadies has one spear, 27 villagers. I feel like this man just wants to boom. I just want to get to castle. All right. Castle will be a thing that we want to get. Shady sending his weak spear home. And, uh, oh, I like how this man is stationed forward here. And these guys wanting to blow through this popsicle stand to possibly make another tower on some gold. Where does that leave Shady's getting gold from? Oh, T90 Lamer Boy. 
This is T90 I become. Yeah. Look. Laming the gold here with houses. We'll have access. We'll deny this with a tower here. So T90, no chill, man. Full aggro. Meanwhile, this tower still being annoying. Still trying to huff and puff and blow this house down. Yeah, relic in the corner. The last tile is a thing. Do we see it? No. It's a mystery. All right, so T90 refresh the slumber camp. Well, it's not ideal to have nine on one, but uh, I probably should refresh it, I would say. Okay, villagers are in, folks. We're in. What are we going to do? I don't know. We've got uh, we've got some weak vills there. I believe that's holy guacamole. That's six deaths for shadies. How, where did shadies die? I think I think some of these villagers lost their lives um, trying to wall behind here. But T90 now getting some nice wood action, and uh, okay, this is not going to be the best fight here for Mr. T90. Looks like those villagers might go down. One scout for Mr. Shadies does go down. T90 doing a great job of reinforcing with his spears. He's got a Rax pretty close forward. So spear production is in the cards. And uh, you know what? If we're really committing to the lame, finish lame. You know, just go all the way around town with your, with your house. We're playing like musical chairs here, trying to weave and dodge our way in here, trying to... Do we do it? Do we do it? Nah, this villager will go down. This villager does go down as well. Okay, so T90 has killed six villagers, has lost three. But due to uh, researching wheelbarrow, Shadies has 33 vills, Harold, aka T90, with 35. So, if Shadies re researches wheelbarrow... Should have a little bit less villagers compared to T90. Okay, T90 making good progress to reach the castle age. I like it. He's even buying some food with the help of the market. He's got a lot. Well, not a lot, but he's got some on stone. So maybe he'll sell some of that, buy some more food. And look at all the blue spots here in Harold's or in, in uh, Shady's base. Does not look ideal. Eek. Did this man delete his lumber camp, mining camp and build another one? I think so. That's a shame. All right, guys. Shady's using the market. T90 buying stones. You want another tower? <gasps> okay. I like the counter tower. This one should go up faster for Shady's. He's got uh, nine villagers versus only four. I think T90's. Is he going to risk it? We're going to wall this boy, these men in. Oh, whoa, 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 ho, ho. The trap has been laid, boys. The trap has been laid, boys. Now we are, in, we're even, uh, we are even trying to batter down with these guys. These guys are going to go home, Z. We do have, we have no one has fled. No, T90's got fletching, never mind. But T90 very close to Castlin, Shady's pretty close to uh, castling himself but t90 already up to the races here and i feel like with 10 on gold and by gold i mean stone we should have enough for a castle upon reaching the castle age all right so looks like we will kill these two vills these two vills from t90 dead look at that beautiful work here by shadies did idle some villagers here, but so did T90. So in the end, in the end, we've had six kills for T90, but eight deaths. So he's down a few villagers. Is it bad? It's not good. It's not good. Ay, yay, yay. All right, guys. Look at that. See what I mean? The lame. What is this lame? Is it really a lame? I mean, it's not that detrimental to Shady's at the moment. 
I can see that in the next uh, encapsulate when you maybe want to drop a TC around it or want to make another um, mining camp here or here. It might be a little bit of annoying, but for getting some gold action, not the worst case scenario. Folks, villagers migrating. It's time to drop the castle. We're going straight to it, folks. We are doing it live. Mr. T90 going to pick up bloodlines. Is he going to switch into the horsey boys? Does make sense. He's Lithuanians. We have an army. A fortress. Holy guacamole. Are we dropping it right here? Do it. Do it. I want to see this castle right here. Or I don't want to see any castle. It looks like we've got a counter castle that wants to be built. T90 a little closer or a little further away. Needs a little bit more on stone. He doesn't have the gold for it. So we're not going to see a castle from him anytime soon. Can Shadies drop the castle down? I am getting anxiety. I want to see it. But we're just fighting here with villagers. We got... Oh boy! Oh boy! Knights are in. We delete that. Oh, I got too excited. But now we have got a counter knight here. Spears and a knight here. Not going to be fine. Oh no. I think Shady... Shadies, what are you doing? What are you doing now? Mr. T90's got enough here for a castle. We got pumping our own knights out, but Shadies doesn't got bloodlines. T90 does, so these knights from T90 are a little bit better. He's bluffing for the counter castle. That was a bluff if I ever saw one, and it worked, folks. And now we've got a castle that's going to be beautifully in place here. T90, what are you doing? You can't, you can't be making your castle there. Yeah, that's what I thought. Whoa, even closer. What are you doing? T90, this castle. Well, he's really investing a lot. Oh, my goodness. Okay, the knights, though, are doing some work. Shady's doesn't give an F. He could be garrisoning these villagers in here. He's not doing it. Shady's, what are you doing? What are you... It's 19 deaths for Shady. He's got T90 up 10 vils. This castle should go up here. Oh. MG. What is going on here? Not so bad. I don't know, Perchfin. It looks pretty bad to me. I don't know why we let so many villagers die. We're fighting with vils now. Oh. Oh, Shady. What are you doing? What are you doing? One military. P tarts. Zero on food. P tart range. P tarts don't do friendly fire as far as I'm concerned, right? Oh. Fighting villagers. guys what is this game i don't know no fletching is in mr t90 with a manga now might get a couple of vil kills here looks like we are gonna garrison them in here uh that's a lot of p tards here villager wise uh t90 here oh t90 gonna repair with a 66 stone eh well that's not ideal that is not optimal whatsoever. We are buying some stone here. What are we doing? What are we doing? And we got villagers coming here to finish it off. We're looking for 500 more HP. Petard's going to do it. We lose more villagers. We cry about this one later. And now we can resume production like nothing has happened. Mr. T90 with eight military shadies with a big zip. T90 with 41 villagers, Shady's with 21. Okay, T90 looking to expand on woodlines. 
All right, picking up some relics. These Lithuanians does make sense. For every relic he picks up, he gets plus one attack on his on his nightline and his um, lightest, which is pretty pretty neat. He's got a lumber camp here and the town center, making some farms. Has access to the gold, and you know what? Shady's I think realizing as he's raided here. He's got one Genoese crossbows, which do counter knights actually quite nicely. But uh, no fletching, no botkin, no defense upgrade. I think it's clear that Shady's is dead and T90 with the worst woodline spawn I've ever seen in my life. One little bit of a forest here made it happen. GG. Check the statistics here. 13 spears for T90, 7 scouties for Mr. Shady's and in the end didn't even matter because T90 got the win. Well played. Honestly, like the castle from Shady's. I like that he was going forward, but that was an excellent bluff from T90. And in the end, T90 coming home with a W. Economy, technology, that's all T. More units killed, less lost. Look at that economy. A roll roaring. We're back in the 20s, you know, roaring 20s here. Wow. Wow, Shady's with almost double the APM, but Mr. T clicking in all of the right places. GG, well played, fun. Congrats to T90, making the best of the worst situation. And Shady's, no harm in losing to T90. He is a really great player, really great caster too. So. GG's.